Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. And another day of September, the awesome month that, you know, I upload a new video every single day to celebrate my birthday on the 7th of September. And if that is not the most extra birthday celebration, I don't know what is. In fact, I've planned September more than I've planned my actual birthday. Like, as of right now, I do not have a birthday party planned while filming this. <laughs> But that's okay, this is the party. Um, anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how I've been reducing the amount of waste that I produce. As we all know, we've been learning about, you know, single-use plastic, the damage that it's doing to the planet, and all of these pretty terrifying things. But the more that I've learned, about the current issues that we have and the way that our modern way of life is impacting the planet, the more I've just been like, crap, like, I need to change the way that I live. And it's kind of overwhelming because if you're, you know, the typical millennial <laughs> person in this Western world, then then there's a lot to change and it's, it's quite overwhelming and scary and exhausting as well because there's a reason why we live the way that we live you know we're used to convenience and life being comfortable and living very fast paced and um, but over the last year or so or maybe more i've just been doing a few different things to try and reduce the amount of waste that i produce so these are very simple things things that are simple enough for me to follow and i just wanted to kind of share this to encourage you or give you any suggestions and tips and show you how yeah just kind of share just share Okay, so this, I hope that this is helpful. I personally have found it really helpful in reducing the amount of waste that I produce. And I'm just gonna get straight into it. If you like this kind of video, if you are loving September, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Join me on Instagram, check out my website. Um, I might write this up as a blog post as well, yeah. So definitely check out the website. Join me on Twitter and Facebook. And don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know any other videos that you want to see in September. And also, ooh, please leave me a comment letting me know other ways to reduce waste. So I'm still doing other things that I'm not gonna mention in this video these are the ones that have been working well so far and um, but if you have any tips on how we can kind of reduce our carbon footprints and just be better lifestyle modern human beings <laughs> then I'll be very grateful I'd love to hear that okay so I wrote these down because I wanted to share with you the tips that I have found helpful as a young woman so change number one face wipes and cotton pads so I got a skincare routine, and um, my skincare has always been super average, super casual, didn't really care. But when I got a skincare routine, I basically would just follow what it said to do on the bottle, and it would say to apply using cotton pads, remove using cotton pads, etc. And then I bought some face wipes as well, which I kind of always bought since I was like 14. I've been buying face wipes and baby wipes, and I've never really, I know it sounds terrible, God forgive me, but I'd never thought of the impact of that, of just, you know, using them. As I started using cotton pads, I realized the impact because I had to buy so many. Like I literally, to remove my makeup, I'd use at least three cotton pads with the water to remove it. And then I'd be applying my toner, then I'd be applying my um, cleansing milk and all these other products. It was just like constantly throwing away, probably about 10 little cotton pads a day. Um, and then I was just like, this is terrible, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. And the way I am to save money, I tend to stock buy, so I bulk buy stuff. So as soon as I'd finished that bulk packaging, I went and bought a load of face cloths. <laughs> now this might sound like the most simple, ridiculous thing, but I basically, I do not buy face wipes and cotton pads anymore. I only use these face cloths, so I will, remove my makeup with them, I'll apply my toner and my cleansing milk with my hands because as much as they say to use cotton pads, actually all that does is kind of waste products and get you to buy some more. So I just apply it with my hands and then I clean my face, I wipe my lipstick off, I do everything using these face cloths. The face cloths are super cheap as well. You can get them for like 29p. I did buy the 69p ones because they were a lot softer. <laughs> but yeah, they are super soft. They do remove your makeup really well and I personally am loving it. So I bought a load of them. It didn't cost a lot. Um, I bought maybe like 21 of them, I think, exactly. Because <laughs> I wanted three weeks worth so that I would always have some coming through, you know, when I do laundry, etc. And yeah, I found that a very small change, but a very easy and significant change to make. The next change that I've made is coffee cups. Um, so I bought a load of coffee cups, which again, a really obvious thing, but just going out and actually doing it, because as you know, I love a cup of coffee, oh, love it. 
love it. <laughs> so by buying reusable coffee cups, not disposable reusable coffee cups, because believe it or not, I know embarrassing there was a time when I would buy um, cardboard like coffee cups because it was when I first started working foundation year one I just wanted to be able to grab a coffee and go super quickly and so I did actually like use like shop type of coffee cups because it was easier and um, but now I basically just make the effort and the, the reason why having reusable portable coffee cups didn't work in the past was because I would never wash them quickly enough so I would have my coffee in this amazing eco-friendly cup one day I would take it home I'd put it in the dishwasher and it's not there for me to use the next day so I'd end up buying coffee or using again one of my cardboard throwaway cups and um, so what I've done now is I've just gone to um, the shop and bought a load of cheap ones so I have about four of them um, and I make sure or I'm very careful to wash them up straight away um, which I know is like a super small thing but it basically just means that I'm not just you know buying one for the sake of it I'm actually using it regularly and not buying coffees to go or I'm having a cup there with me and I can be like can you fill this one up instead of using another cup and um, so yeah that is a small change but I think for me having a number of them has really helped because again I have to be honest like I'm not a perfect person i don't always wash everything straight away i do have a dishwasher so if something sat in the dishwasher i'm not using it i'll be using something else so getting a few of them has really helped me to reduce my waste in that way they're super cheap as well so um i went to home bargains and they're literally like a few quid uh, and that's great i did order a super cute one off amazon which was so cute it had musical notes on it it was lush but it was made of this material and i dropped it and it cracked and it cost me like I think it was like 15 pounds or something which is relatively quite significant so for it to be gone in a week I was just like cool thanks no thanks so yeah you can definitely find super cheap alternatives for them and just shop around the next change or very small change that I've made is when it comes to bottled water and um, so I live in South Wales where the tap water tastes amazing so buying a reusable bottle and um, that I can take around and refill is super helpful and even if I do buy bottled water I won't I will try and not buy like the little bottles it will be the very large like two litre bottles of water for example when I'm in London and um, visiting my sisters rather than getting the individual 500 ml bottles another thing that you can do is get a filter um, so that you can filter your water if you can't drink your tap water I personally live in Wales where genuinely my tap water specifically my parents tap water in the valleys tastes better than any bottled water that I've ever tasted like oh it rains so much here it's glorious <laughs> well it's not glorious while it's raining but it's good when you're drinking your super fresh tap water another small way in which I've been reducing my waste is by buying um, a silicone ice cube tray again so so obvious but I would just buy bags of ice cubes because it was easy and quicker but they come in plastic now although you can obviously recycle that plastic why why bother why not just make your own ice cubes and save money as well and um, so getting an ice cube tray as well because i do use a lot of ice especially in this hot weather my goodness it's great it ha really hasn't affected my quality of life whatsoever in fact it's probably better because i think the ice cubes that i make are better because as i said my tap water is bomb then the next way in which I have reduced my waste is by buying loose fruit and veg. So you can have veg in a plastic bag or you can just have the one that's loose. I don't actually know if there's a price difference. I've never really checked. It'll just say how much it is per kg and I just, you know, vegetables are kind of cheap generally anyway. Um, but I just was like, oh wait, I don't need my carrots in a plastic bag or my apples. I can just pick them and put them in my bag. And that, that's made a big difference too, but that is difficult to stick to because some vegetables only come pre-packaged. Um, so I am going to be trying out a new supermarket soon, which doesn't sell any packaging. But they also don't sell a lot of the stuff that I eat and buy. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But picking your supermarket, maybe going to local, you know, vegetable stalls what are they called markets markets as well and just saying no to plastic bag like when i'm offered a plastic bag for stuff i'm just like oh i don't need that i've got a tub with me or i've got a bag with me the last point is something that is probably very obvious again but the way that i've done it i think has helped recently so you know when you get those reusable plastic bags so you can get like the 10p ones that are reusable but generally like will rip on you but you can get like the 50p ones which are super sturdy won't rip on you but are still plastic 
So what I figured out was that the 10p ones, I would buy those, use them once, then use them again to say take my meal prep to work with, and then they would get dirty or they would rip and I would recycle them. By the way, when I say throw things away, I always have recycled, so I don't mean literally bin. But then, when I would buy these sturdy bags, the ones which are plastic but sturdy, if I spilt something in it or something leaked in the bag, like, I really didn't want to clean it. Now I know this is such first world problems. Like, Sarah, you could easily just clean the plastic bag. But I know me, I know that I probably won't clean that bag. I'll probably recycle it. I'll probably buy a new one because that is just the way that I am. I'm sorry, I confess, terrible human. <laughs> no, I'm not, thank God, it's I'm good. Um, or trying to be better anyway. So what I did was I bought some cotton carrier bags from Lidl and Aldi. I just prefer them so much more. They don't get all crinkly and ugly. You can wash them when they're dirty. I just throw them in the washing if they rip. Oh. A bird just did like a full on like suicide dive at my window. The birds here are weird, you know. So weird. Sometimes they just gather. Have you seen all my Instagram stories? If you follow me on Instagram, sometimes they'll just have like a mother's meeting out there. What the heck are you doing? Are you okay, hun? Anyway. <laughs> just wants to be in the video like and subscribe to his channel anyway so the cotton carry bags are pretty game changing i just keep them everywhere as well there are some in my car there are some hung up when i walk into the house so they're just always there i have loads of them and i think that they're the last shopping bags that i'm like ever gonna buy isn't that crazy like i don't think i should ever need to buy another shopping bag because i have the cotton ones not just the plastic ones and i love that that's great so yeah that's it. Those are like the really small ways that, or the really small changes that have actually stuck for me. I know that, that it's a process and I'll get better at it and I'm sure that I will. And I also don't want this to come across as like judgy or you're not doing enough or like holier than thou. That is, that's not what I'm intending to do at all, but to just kind of flag up you know, a couple of little things we can do and little things that I've done and we can just enjoy the process of changing our lifestyles a little bit. Yeah, because we can always learn new things, right? Yeah, I, I truly believe that I can always learn new things and I'm grateful to be able to learn them. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment, click like and subscribe and thank you for being my internet friends. I will see you tomorrow in the next day of September. I love you so much. See you tomorrow. Turn on the notifications if you want. Or you could just come back. But anyway, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>